I couldn't believe my amazing son was gone. I, last time I saw him, I was in front of the theater and I said, I love you, son, I'm proud of you, man. And I walked away. It wasn't like he had gone to rehab. This was maybe a little bit of a secret life struggle. This was his first time that I know of buying something from the streets. But it feels like one fatal mistake to me. How'd you find out what had happened there? I found out when I was on a tour bus in Canada and I just fell to my knees. I asked probably 25 times like that day, are you sure? Are you sure? How did the loss of your son affect that thing? It rocked it for a while. Um, I kind of, I didn't walk away. I just kind of made a deal with God. I go, I'm gonna trust you through this. I'm gonna try. I gave him a chance is how I say it. I might be a little dishonoring. <laughs> I don't mean it to be, but I gave him a chance. And in that time, he was kind. You spoke of the last conversation you had with Truett, but you didn't mention his last text to you. Yeah. He said, um, Dad, you've always made me feel like a superhero. Yeah. You know, you couldn't ask for more than that. I'm so grateful that he knew I loved him.